Hi guys, I'm Flora. I'm an angiosperm. What's an angiosperm, you ask? An angiosperm is a vascular and flowering plant. We belong to the kingdom plantae. There are 300,000 species of us, making up 80% of the plant population. Angiosperms have true roots, stems, and leaves. The roots anchor the plant and absorb water and minerals from the soil. The stem supports the growing plant body. The leaves are the principal sites of photosynthesis. These plant parts evolved in order for angiosperms to live and dominate terrestrial habitats. There are two types of angiosperms, monocots and dicots. Monocots are called monocots because they have one cotyledon, a seed leaf. Likewise, dicots are called dicots because they have two cotyledons. Monocots have parallel veined leaves, while dicots have net veined leaves. The primary vascular bundles in a monocot are scattered. However, in dicots, they are arranged in a ring. Monocot plants pollen are monosuculate, dicot plants are mostly triculpate. The root systems also differ in two types. Monocot has adventitious root system, dicot has a primary and adventitious root system. The flora parts in threes for monocots and in fours and fives for dicots. Unlike gymnosperms, angiosperms go through sexual reproduction. Angiosperms have both male and female reproductive organs in a single plant. The male reproductive organ is called the stamen, which includes the anther and filament. The stamen produces microspores that develop into pollen grains containing male gametophytes. Pollen is produced on anther, which is supported on the filament, which is a stalk. The female reproductive organ is called the carpal or pistil, which includes the stigma, style, and ovary. The stigma is sticky to receive the pollen, and the style leads from the stigma to the ovary. The ovary contains the ovules. When fertilized, the ovule develops into a seed, and ovary develops into a fruit. Angiosperms also have sterile organs such as sepals and petals, which are not directly involved in reproduction. You can observe the life cycle of the angiosperm in this diagram. Hey, are you falling asleep? Is this boring to you? Well, okay, let's not use this diagram. How about I tell you a story instead? Once upon a time, in a beautiful garden of flowers, there was a lonely pollen named Polana. Oh man, it's so boring around here. There are no cute eggs around. Well, that's only because you haven't left this flower before. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure that there's someone in another flower around here that's cute. Just look around, be adventurous, explore. Oh, I hear someone singing, an egg. Her voice is so lovely. See what I mean? Now go get her. Yeah, I will. Hey, Ubi. Yeah, man, what's up? Can I get a ride to the flower over there? Sorry, man, I'm not working right now. Oh, come on. I need to see this egg. I can give you some nectar. Deal? Deal. Thanks, Ubi. Enjoy the nectar. I hear her. It's coming from down here. How do I get there, though? You'll need to germinate and make a pollen tube. Germinate? Pollen tube? Yeah, the water on the stigma there will help you germinate. Once you germinate, you will form a pollen tube that will extend down through the style and towards the ovary. The egg you're looking for is in there. Send two sperms down there to meet her. Two sperms? I can't go down there myself. Of course not, silly. You have to become sperms to do that. Um, alright. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. No problem. Good luck. That was a long fall. Whoa, who are you guys? We're Polano, but in a different form. Oh, um, well, I'm Eva, the ovule. Who's that in the back? I'm Sela, the central cell. Why did you guys come? We heard your singing and had to come see you. Really? Was my singing that good? Yes, it was beautiful, just like you. And Sela. Thank, Thank you. you. Dear friends and family, 
We have gathered here today to witness and celebrate the unions of Pilano No. 1 and Eva and Pilano No. 2 and Sela in double marriage. In the day that they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have decided to join together and become one as a seed. You, Polana number one, and Eva, and Polana number two, and Zella, take one another to be your partner in life and to share a path of life with, equally in love, embraced as a mirror for your true self, promising to become one. I do. And now, the husbands may kiss the bride. And that's how I am here today.